Hey, Kevin Purcell, gottabemobile.com. I want to show you Cloud Outliner. This is a... And outlines. And when you open it up, here's your basic interface. There's the... Uh, up here in the right corner, you get the edit tool where you can edit these uh, different things. You can drag these up and down. Works pretty much as you'd expect it info button has links to their website so let's go ahead and create a new outline give it a title sample done alright so now as we come in here we want to use the tools down here to add and manipulate each item so let's say I want to uh, make a shopping list and I'm gonna get some soap because I stink <laughs> I'm gonna get dog food for Poochie. Alright, and I need to get some beef to make some burgers. Oh, and I think I want pizza, so I need to get I need some dough. I need pepperoni and cheese and sauce now as you see those three items they're parts uh, or four items rather they're parts of my pizza and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here and use these to uh, manipulate each item and move them as I want so that indents it to show that it's part of my pizza Oops. Now, if I was going to make homemade sauce, I could also, you know, add things under there and indent them further. Um, maybe I decide, you know, I'm going to put beef on that pizza too, so let's move that down here. So notice how it automatically indents it. If I change my mind and say, no, let's put it back up here. Uh, maybe I say, you know what, the dog, don't like him anymore. I'm not going to feed him. So I hit this X button down here uh, to delete it. <laughs> and then I've changed my mind. No. The wife would get mad if I didn't feed the dog. So, undo and then redo. That's the basic uh, features of how to create an outline. Now, maybe I've got a really long outline and I want to be able to find things in it. Short one like this, it's not quite so necessary, but if I had a really long one, I could use the search feature and it highlights the word for you. Or maybe I want to um, export it or I'm sorry, maybe I want to turn off the check boxes. Notice this is a shopping list, so you might want checks bo check boxes, but I could turn them off while I'm creating the outline and then just go ahead and turn them on when I get to the store. Um, you can hide checked items, so let's go ahead and check a few. Let's say, all right, we were down the, uh, the aisle that had the sauce, the cheese, and the pepperoni. We got the dog food. All right, now we'll hide the checked items, and notice they're gone, leaving just the things we need to get. And maybe I want to share this. Maybe I created the outline, but I want to send it to my wife. And she doesn't use Cloud Outliner, so she wants to uh, instead get it in her email as a text. So I can email it to her, and it'll show up as a text list. Uh, create it as an OPML file. Maybe I'm creating a list that I'm going to put on the Internet somewhere. Or I can sync it with uh, Evernote, which is really cool if you use Evernote a lot. So you hit that sync with Evernote. Here's something I'd like to see. I wish there was an open in feature here to open it in pages. Maybe I'm creating a long document in pages, but I want to do my outline first here uh, because this is simple. Plus it has iCloud backup, so I could be creating the outline while I'm out and about somewhere on my cell phone, my iPhone. And uh, by the way, it uh, now works with iPhone 5 as well. And then I pull it up on the iPad to finish it up. And then I want to... Uh, work on it in pages and so I wish I had an open in pe feature so that I could take that outline and then create the paper from the outline or maybe it'd be great if it opened in pages and so that each one of these uh, items like each one of these would be a separate slide in pages to make a presentation and then maybe if you had a, a indented list underneath a, an item that would be one slide with these four things showing up as a list on a, uh, a keynote slide. 
that'd be a really cool thing. Uh, I'd love that if they would add that feature and make it more useful. As it is right now, it's it's nice, it's workable, it's it's a nice little uh, app. It's simple. The problem is um, the price of it. It's five dollars, you know, four ninety nine in the App Store. To me, that seems a little steep for what this does. Uh, for a while, it was on sale for ninety nine cents, and that seemed like the perfect price. Maybe two bucks. I could even go as high as that. But uh, five dollars seems a little expensive for what this does, and I think you can find other outliners uh, that probably do just as well for a lot less. This has been Kevin Purcell for GottaBeMobile.com with Cloud Outliner. And my recommendation is at $5, don't buy it. Uh, if they reduce the price again, I'd say go for it. Thanks for watching.